bumblebees it's Ethany and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you three easy Yule crafts and you can do these with your kids and your family this festive season. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is the easiest one and this is creating Yule cards and what I love to do with creating Yule cards I didn't bring any of the ones that my son did but is to buy these pre-made little packs of cards and envelopes. Crack out all of my stickers and ephemera because I do a lot of paper crafting and sit with my son and let him just go completely bananas because I know that his grandparents love to receive handmade cards from him and I also really love to create handmade cards. So all of these cards here are ones that I made and I just punched out or cut some cream paper to line them with so I can write in it. And then what I would do once I finish that is would decorate the envelopes. This is the easiest thing to do. You can even just use any kind of cardstock and make your own envelopes as well. You can Google envelope templates or use a punch board or just buy them from a dollar store. A lot of these uh, stickers and everything were from the dollar store. So it's very, very easy to use things you already have and to upcycle old magazines or Christmas stuff. And then you can just choose some little stickers and make your envelopes happy. This one is my soul cat. Look at this, it's like singing. That's me. Even if I don't ever see post people who are doing God's work, let's be honest, I hope that them seeing these pretty envelopes makes them smile, you know, when not everyone sends happy mail anymore. And so this is just a way that I like to include my paper crafting into my Yule crafts. And it's something that my son and I love to do together because there's no rules, it's just have fun. All right, the next thing we're going to be making is a little bit more complicated, but it's still a pretty easy craft, is this little love bottle and you can actually add them to your Yule tree as well as give them as a gift, which I really, really liked. You can do bottles for protection or prosperity. So let's check out how to make that. So for this, you're going to need some empty bottles. And I got these at Dollarama, as you can see. And these ones are glass, but you can use plastic ones. There's plenty of plastic ones. I have little mini rhodochrysite chips, but any bracelet chips for crystals, anything like that can be used. Rose quartz is the cheapest and most easily available for love. I just had a bunch of these. Have some super glue on hand, you may not need it, but I actually doubly secured the little loop. You're going to need one of these little babes, a little screw in hook for each bottle. If you want to add glitter, and I love glitter, you can choose any type of glitter. So I've got three types of glitter. I might use the pink in this one. I have some crafting cord, a big jar of rose petals that I got from my apothecary that I brought. And this is actually dried flowers and moss that I've kept from packaging. The charm, so I have the love charm. You can make a charm, you can find something else in nature. And two very important tools, a hammer <laughs> and a pair of needle nose pliers. Okay, so for step number one, we're going to secure the hook to the bottle. We're going to do this before we do anything else so that that is ready. The best way to do this is with the hammer. And because this is really, really small, for the love of goodness, use a pair of pliers. Don't try and hold it. It'll end badly for everybody involved. Okay, easy. It just took one little knock from the hammer and it was in and you can secure it with some more super glue on the inside as well if you would like to. If you're using cork, super glue it for sure because cork is quite a brittle material so you'll want to make sure that you can that this is not going to go anywhere if someone is going to wear it or if it's going to go around on a tree so now we've got the hook selected you're going to start to stuff <laughs> the bottle full of lovey goodies so i use the needle nose pliers for this because uh, you're going to want to push it down quite a bit so the first thing we're going to do is find some moss I love moss, it's so pretty. So you're just gonna find some little greeny bits. And I tried to make this look like it's layered. So you can see in here, there is some actual layering, but nature's gonna do whatever it's gonna do. Okay, so then you're going to add some rose petals. Use your 
flyers to just create a layer pushing it down you can't get your fingers in there and i wouldn't recommend you try because that'll get stuck and then you look like a ding dong you're going to add your crystals to and then i'm going to put the charm in now the charm is another thing you're going to have to pop in with a pair of pliers because you want it to stand up you don't want it to like lie flat so you don't see it now i have to fiddle with this a little bit and then i'll show you position everything so when i pop another crystal in we don't want it covering see how i popped it at the back so now you can still see the charm you want to be really careful with it not falling over the charm so we're just going to add a little bit of moss more moss so we can absolutely see that that's a little love bottle and now you're going to add just a tiny little bit of glitter now i love glitter and i shook it a little bit when i put the lid on and then we're just going to pop some thread uh, now i doubled the thread thickness so that it was going to be something that was sturdy enough and this cord is a really good cord because it knots very very easily but then you have a little love bottle for your christmas tree or your yule tree and you can give them to people as well as little gifts now our third and final your craft is a very traditional your craft it's making lanterns and it is i'm not gonna lie a little finicky this is my first attempt when i made one the other day look she stands that's all we need to say is look it stands so you would actually clean it up around the edges do not put candles in this you're meant to put little little battery operated ones in there please for the love of god this will go up so quickly Poof. You don't want to do that. So what you're going to need for this is a hot glue gun and a truck ton of glue. This is literally a drag queen lantern. It is 20 million percent hot glue gun and prayers. That's all it is. You're going to need twigs. You want to find twigs that are as straight as possible that you can get because it's easier for it all to stand. And you're going to need them in different measurements. And I'm going to give that to you. So I've pre-cut a whole bunch here. Scissors, a piece of cardboard. Like I said, lots of hot glue gun, some tissue paper, and some Mod Podge and what's this called again? A paintbrush. <laughs> That's all you're gonna need. So I'm going to show you how to make a triangle one of these. All these ideas came from Pinterest. They're not my original ideas, but the reason why the lantern is a really traditional Yule craft is because with the winter solstice, we're celebrating the return of the sun, the rebirth of the sun god. So this is the lanterns that light during the darkest night and longest night of the year and keeps us all like cheery and stuff. Plus, who doesn't look fantastic by a candlelight? I mean, it's so flattering. I'm gonna pop the actual instructions to this in the description below from ehow.com. So probably best to follow them. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make a triangle one. I like a little TV. We're gonna try. Uh, for the square one, you need four 12 inch sticks and the straighter the better because these are gonna be your foundations. And then you need eight, they say four inches, but I made mine five inches um, to make just for a little bit of extra room. And then you need a piece of cardboard for the base. All right, everyone, pray for me. So the first thing you want to do is take a big swig of <laughs> because you're insane for trying this. What I was going to do was I was just going to like lump a bunch of hot glue onto one of them and then just like position it real quick. So watch this. Watch this, this is like ninja chefing. Just to get it started. Oh my gosh, I just burnt my finger. And if we leave it for just two seconds, then we can strengthen it. Does that make sense? Now that we kind of got the position, I just put a bit of glue on it and then I went back and positioned it. And so now I'm going to secure this and get another stick. Please do not use your fingers. I did that yesterday. Don't recommend it. So now I'm just hot gluing the absolute bajinkas out of this. Now I'm just securing the top. And on the ethehow.com tutorial, they actually do a triangle one as well. So we're just going to give this a minute to dry. So then what we're going to do is create a little bottom base all the way around. Now, I mean, if I really wanted to be particular about it, I would try to get it on the inside, but I don't know. I think it'd look kind of cute, like having the sticks on the outside. So now we're going to hot glue gun. How am I going to do this? <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> so you're going to position where you want the little shelf to go and pop a little bit of glue on each of the bottom and make sure you hold it until the glue dries. Hot glue is so amazing. So then we keep going all the way around. 
nothing needs to be perfect, right? Like one of the great things about, I think, the way that these lanterns look is that um, the, the, all the sticks and twigs are all different and it's all natural looking. So then we're going to finish the base with one more twig. More glue, more glue. All right, so now we have this cool looking Blair Witch project structure. <laughs> we need to cut the base. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. Here's the thing, chicken littles, is that if you start to F it up, you can't really undo it. We just want to make a shelf. So you can even just make a shelf like straight. So I'm going to try that first. Look, I'm so profesh. <laughs> Look at that. That was pretty good eyeballing. So now we're going to glue that down. Give it a lot of glue love. So I'm just gonna really, look, I'm being extremely liberal with this glue gun and you need to be to secure it down. Presentation doesn't really matter at this point. And let that dry. So now we have the full foundation ready. I mean, even that'll go on quite nicely. Now this is a little bit more finicky, this part, and you have to be a little bit patient, not my strong suit, but it's best to be patient with this. And so now we're gonna cut some strips of tissue paper. And I also found that working with smaller pieces of tissue paper actually was a lot easier. <laughs> so now we've cut a bunch of our tissue paper. I'm gonna tell you, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Like, I think that looks cute. <laughs> it's got hot glue everywhere, but I think it's really cute. You're gonna need your Mod Podge and your paintbrush and a little bit of water. So we're just gonna add a little bit of water. You don't need too much. It's like a little bit paper mache. -y. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Mod Podge in <laughs> this area because you're gonna need a bit thicker Mod Podge and then you're gonna need a little bit in the water. You can use any kind of water-based glue. You can use Elmer's craft glue, like whatever it is, whatever you need. Okay, I'm just gonna mix that up. So that's our water solution. And then you're gonna get a little bit of the thick stuff and quickly glue one side of the stick. Then getting a piece of the tissue paper. It doesn't have to be perfect on the first pass. And then you're just gonna glue it down and keep going. I know it's not the most interesting thing to watch someone do. But, oh. This is not the most stable thing I've ever made. Now, I want to make this back area the area that the you can put your little candle in. Now, this is going to happen too. See how that's tearing? This is why we do more than one layer. This time, you're going to want to cover the bottom base. And honestly, give this a bit of patience. It's like a lot of paintings that you do and you think, oh, this isn't like working. But if you actually just stick with it for a little bit, it does end up looking pretty good. So now we're going to wrap the bottom. See, it's coming together. Remember to dipping it in your water solution. <gasps> okay, she's not stable. <laughs> and then you want to do that all the way around. So I've done just three pieces of tissue paper and you could keep going, honestly, but I just want to show you how to seal off the bottom. I've kept the back open so that I can actually put the candle in without breaking anything as well. You can close it off if you would like, but if it's positioned like this, then it's fine. I also am going to stabilize this a little bit better later, but I'm just gonna pop the bow on the top to finish it off and hide some of that hot glue gun. And then you have to let it dry thoroughly. And um, then I would also do a few more layers of paper mache just to make sure it's all sealed properly. But that's how easy and quick this one is. It's just a little bit finicky, I guess is the best word. Sorry, we're gonna hot glue the bow first. We're just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on here. You just have to be, oh gosh, really careful if you're gonna do more layers and you have now got the bow on there. So we're gonna hot glue the bow on. And then we're going to hot glue the bell on. How cute is that? We have a little lantern for Yule. Those are our Yule crafts for 2020. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you're going to make any of them. I would love to see some of them. If you tag me at Ethany on Instagram, if you end up making any of them, I'd love to connect with you there. And I hope you have an amazing holiday season.